Hey guys, today I wanted to share a quick envelope addressing um, technique that you can use that's super simple, uses just a few supplies that you probably already have at home, um, and really jazzes up your holiday envelopes or wedding envelopes are definitely another great way to use this. So what I'm gonna use today is just a set of um, pan watercolors. These came from Michaels, I think it's the Artist Loft brand and they were definitely less than $10. Um, these are the shimmery starry colors um, of watercolors. They're a little bit more expensive, um, probably 10 to $15 when you use a 40% off coupon at your local art store. A large brush, um, large paintbrush, an envelope, and a brush pen. So the first thing we're gonna do is do a little background watercolor. And one of the keys to making this uh, really pop but still easy to read for your mailman is to use the same color palette. So you want similar colors all the way down. So I'm gonna use blues, and I'm, let's see, got my wet paint here. And I'm just gonna do a little stripe right across. Rinse off my brush, grab my next color down, do the same thing. So when they're really wet, uh, they'll bleed together. And it makes a really pretty ombre effect. And I love doing this with a winter with the winter colors. Um, the blues are easy to read over, and it is a really nice gradual change. So he looks like that little ombre. Um, and then you want to set him over to the side to dry because we're going to add more paint on top. If you're doing um, several envelopes, by the time you do 20 of these and come back, the first set will probably be dry. So I'm gonna stick this over to the side. I have one that I already um, started that's dry. And it looks like this. So now what we're gonna do is add our gold shimmer paint right over the top. So I've already added a little water here to my paints and I'm using number 903, the yellow gold. Um, but you, any of these are super shiny. And sometimes I find that when I'm doing this the first time, it doesn't look very sparkly or just one part will look sparkly and the rest of it doesn't. Um, but give it a second to dry and the whole thing will really pop and it gives a really gentle all over shimmer look that I really love just a little bit of sparkle without being glitter and sequins. And it doesn't have to be perfect on the ends, just kind of abstract. So it doesn't look like much, but once you let it dry, it really sparkles. So I've got one that I did earlier that is completely finished. Let's scoot this out of the way. And you can see it really, it catches the light, it's so beautiful, and it just gives it a light background. And now what we're gonna do is address inside this color block. So I'm gonna scoop my water out of the way so don't spill on it. Um, and we will go ahead and address. Um, you can use a script or a capital letter handwriting. I'm gonna use kind of a combination Start with a little brush for the name. My favorite fake addresses to write are to my favorite uh, TV characters. So if you're an office watcher, this is going to the Halberts. And their uh, Scranton address. that I made up. <laughs> the other thing I really love about this technique is it still keeps your paper really absorbent. So you're not gonna have a bunch of smudges or paper or your pen sliding all over the place. 
it's going to stay really still, which I like. And especially as a lefty, because I always drag my hand through stuff, it keeps it nice and neat. Fill in the space. Kind of fill in the empty spots there, and then we'll make up our zip code. Um, Four, five, six, one. So super cute, super easy, and it's gonna really pop when it when it arrives in their imaginary mailbox as something that's a special piece of mail and that you put love and care into. Um, and not just a bill from <laughs> the local cable company. So give it a try. Check them out. I'd love to see uh, your finished projects. So feel free to tag me on Instagram. I'm Leslie Scraps um, or on Facebook, Lettering with Leslie. I always love seeing people's happy mail. So keep up the good work and get those envelopes addressed.